Hey guys, Garage here. And recently I bought into solar. I bought a 6.8 kilowatt system, um, 6,800 watt system from SunPower, uh, which consists of 16 Maxion panels, uh, 425 watt panels with in phase micro inverters, um, private labeled for SunPower. Uh, really good micro inverters. So that's the system I went with. There will be another video on why I chose that out of the 11 quotes that I got, but I, I ended up choosing SunPower. I'm happy with my choice. And uh, yeah. So. Anyways, I needed a way to keep track of all the numbers and everything because I'm a geek like that. I wanted to see exactly what my system was doing. I, I you know, I don't know. I'm kind of newer to a, having a house solar setup that's grid tied. So I want to see how it was working. And I didn't find any calculators or info out there that really did what I needed it to do. So I designed this up to be just a dashboard, as you're seeing, and it'll keep track of a lot of things. So as you get bills in, you'll just fill it out and um, it will auto calculate and autograph everything for you. I made it as easy to use as you could ever imagine. This looks all complex and it may be putting you off like, oh God, how am I gonna use this thing? But it's the easiest calculator in the world. You're just gonna enter values off your bill in the blue areas. And then there's a couple other blue areas like up here on the ROI, just two little, um, two little cells and one here uh, for an export rate. If you have one that you fill out on this page, that's really it. And as you do each month at a time, everything is gonna auto calculate. Um, that's how this sheet works. Now, again, we've got a graph for energy offset, so I know how, how much my energy offset is. And this will be an average over the year once you fill more and more info, more and more information out. Like right now, for this one month, um, I offset 68% of my electrical usage with, with my panel. So my total kilowatt hours was 1,762, and I offset 1,200. So I did a 68% offset. Um, once you get your numbers in, it'll give you savings to date, and it also sh will show you savings per month. And that is based off of um, what you were paying per kilowatt hour versus what you're paying now. So it's kind of uh, apples to apples, your old bill versus what you're paying now in your average kilowatt hour. So it really defines ROI in that way, which I think is the most accurate way to define ROI. This is where I was in the last couple of years, what I paid per kilowatt hour on average, and this is what I'm paying now per kilowatt hour um, average and how much energy got offset. So it calculates all that. So it shows me I have um, $55.48 in savings for this. Now ROI off of this one month's info is not gonna be super accurate. Um, it shows me this terrible number, which is, it is gonna be terrible because I have a utility that's absolutely terrible when it comes to solar customers and what they offer. So my rate plan completely sucks. So I will have a long ROI, but I don't expect it to be 18 years. I think it's probably gonna end up around 12 years or so, but time will tell as I fill this out and get my bills in, which is why I designed this, because I wanna really drill down into it. And again, ROI is just a projection. I wanna make that very clear. That doesn't account for ice ages. It doesn't account for weather events and phenomena. It doesn't count if I had a panel that died for a while. It doesn't account for rate changes on my utility. It just tells me if everything stays the same as I filled out for the entire year, this is probably what my ROI would be. And that's that's good enough for me. That tells me you know what I should expect my system, when it should pay me back, and then when I should be in the green in general and gives me a good idea. Um, that's all it does. It doesn't count for panel degradation or anything else, although I could put in a couple percent number here and knock that down. But I'm not going to because it's not really needed. This gives me close enough numbers. It's not an exact science on ROI. Um, so now, after you filled these things out, kind of rambled on there a little bit, um, we've got some more stuff we're gonna fill out. Down here, you're gonna see this little rainbow section, and this doesn't calculate anything. All this is is, is, is a reminder. It's gonna, you can fill it out. I've got a blank um, Excel file that you can download from the video description below. So download the blank and then you can fill out all this information and you can fill out what months you have uh, different bill rates for. These are mine, I have three different uh, bill rates, uh, depending on July, August, or these four months, or these six months. Um, and then I have two peak times in, in this time period, basically winter, and then an off peak time. And then the rest of the year, I have a single peak time and a single off peak time. And then the, these are the costs in uh, cents per kilowatt hour. Um, you can fill yours out. And then if you want to, you can say November, April, which are these, just color code them in green. So you know in those months, this is gonna be your rate. So it's just a really quick reminder of what month you're in and what your rate is for that particular time period. If you need to change any of these cells, like I'm gonna change June, if you want it red, you go up here to your tab in Excel, make it red. It's not rocket science, it's really easy. All right, 
So that's this portion of the calculator. That's, that's what you do. You fill out information and we'll go through a blank one really quick and I'll show you how it works. It's so easy to fill out. Now we're gonna go into our bill average calculator. Now what I did, the easiest way to evaluate what you were paying is take your total kilowatt hours and your bill and translate that into your average cents per kilowatt hour. That's reality. That your bill versus your kilowatt hours that you use from you, your utility, that gives you um, a dollar amount that you paid per kilowatt hour. That's simple math and that's accurate math and I like it. And so for 2019, I threw my bill in. Again, you just fill out the blue sections. Don't touch anything in these white sections over here. This auto populates, this auto populates. Uh, you're just gonna fill out blue sections and we'll go through that in a second. But it's gonna tell you what you, um, what exactly you paid in cents per kilowatt hour for that month. So 11.36 is what I averaged. In 2020, I averaged 11.12 um, cents. All right, 2021, 11.19 cents per kilowatt hour. So you notice how consistent that is across all three years. So I, and when you fill all of these out month by month by month, this paints the picture of what you paid on average in electricity for the entire year per kilowatt hour used. And that really paints the picture of what the plan is that you're on, how much you are paying for electricity. Um, we've got this little section here, the passable average. So this just takes the numbers. Each cell takes the numbers like the build kilowatt hours here and it averages them. Um, same with this bill. It's gonna take your the dollar amount and it's gonna average all these dollar amounts. So what your average was for the last three years. And then it's gonna tell you what your cents per kilowatt hour averaged over three years. You don't have to fill out three years worth of data. You can fill out two years. You can fill out a single year. It doesn't matter. Uh, the more information you can enter, the more accurate it'll be. So that's my only recommendation. Just try to do it. And again, do one month at a time. So as a bill comes in, or say you've got five bills or eight bills, just fill out the data that you have. So if over here um, you've got, say, four solar bills, only fill out those four months worth of data and then only fill out these four months. And that's the way you want to use this sheet is only fill them out one month at a time as you have bill information. You can also use this entire calculator to, if you've got an entire year's worth of data already and you want to model last year, enter all 12 months from all these years then go in here and enter all 12 bills and it's gonna calculate everything out for you. It's really, again, it's really easy. But we'll go through that example in a second. Um, so we went through the pass bill average and now we have, this will auto carry over from the first sheet, the tracker example. We're gonna, this will auto calculate and this is your current solar bill. So your bill or my bill was $142.07. This is how many kilowatt hours that I imported from SRP. Um, and so when you do the simple math on it, it's almost 14 cents a kilowatt hour for me to have solar because my because our local utility SRP really has garbage rates for solar and it costs me a lot more money to be on a solar plan because they soak up any, any additional money you might make like grid export by charging you more. So I get charged almost three cents a kilowatt hour more, well, technically 2.68 cents per kilowatt hour more than the average Joe that say is on, or, or when I was on one of these older plans. So they're actually soaking up money and charging me more for the privilege of having solar, uh, which I think is just dastardly and dirty. But this will, this calculator tells you if they're being dirty or if they're being clean and they're they're uh, doing you right. Um, if you are in the green, it actually will turn green. So if you fill out all your numbers and this turns green, then you're actually making, uh, you're, you, you've got a better plan than you had before. I don't. I was averaging 11 cents a kilowatt hour uh, for the last three years, and now I'm averaging 13.89 uh, for this, this particular month. So it's terrible, it was garbage. So anyways, uh, enough of that rant. Let's get on to the example. We will fill it out and I'll show you how easy it is to use. Again, anybody can use this setup that has Excel on a desktop. So you just download the file. Don't try to use it off Google Docs. Google Docs really stinks um, with conversions and so forth from, from Excel files. So just try to use it on Excel if you got it. So this is the blank sheet that you would have downloaded. Uh, this is blank up here. You can enter your system specs if you want. If you wanna share it, up to you, you don't have to. These are all of your peak and off peak times that we talked about. Um, you can enter those as a reminder and then color code here, just as a reminder like I talked about. Now you notice all your graphs and all your savings, everything is all zeroed out. So what we're gonna do is let's enter one month's worth of data. Like I just, for example, I just got my June bill, so let's fill my June bill out. So 142.07 was my bill dollar amount. 
My total usage was 1,762 kilowatt hours. You're going to start to see some graphs and things move. Magic. Um, we are going to go and we're going to enter our build peak kilowatt hours. So this is what uh, my utility, SRP, actually charged me for for the month after my solar covered some of it. So on peak was 160 kilowatt hours. And then uh, 863 off-peak kilowatt hours is what they billed me for. And then this will auto-calculate here. All right. Don't touch the areas in white again. Just the areas in this light blue. Now, production. This is what my system produced. So this will all be on your bill, whether or not, you know, almost any carrier should provide this info to you or any utility. So I produced 245 kilowatt hours. And you can see more stuff moving around. My off-peak production was 955 kilowatt hours. All right. Um, now with that, I've already got my energy offset for this month. And as you add month per month per month, this is actually the average of all the months together. So you'll see what your system offsets in total for the year as you fill out more info. For this month, it was 68% energy offset. So you've got a little automatic deal here, and then it's gonna average down here. So I use 1,762 kilowatt hours, and I produced 1,200 kilowatt hours, gives me an offset of 68%. All right. So grid export. So this is what my system produced above and beyond what my household used. So this electricity that I produced went back to the grid, back to SRP and back to other customers and got sold to SRP at a terrible pay rate. So I did 646 kilowatt hours. Um, this We have this little uh, window here. We'll actually totalize it for the year, how many kilowatt hours you used in the whole year. Um, and then I'm going to enter my export rate. So SRP pays me just absolutely nothing, which is uh, 0.0281. So 2.81 cents is what they pay me per kilowatt hour that I export, no matter peak or off peak or whatever it may be, for a total value of $18.15. Um, that's what I exported back to the grid. And so that's done. All right, notice these other sections in white. There's nothing here yet. So we got to fill a little more information out. So we're going to come up here, um, cost installed. This helps with the ROI numbers. $17,500 was the total installed price. Now I had tax incentives. I had my tax write-off stuff for going solar. So I had $5,550 in incentives, which makes my total out of pocket when the dust settles $11,950. Okay. Now, my production quote, this is what SunPower told me my system would produce in one year. They told me it would produce 13,627 kilowatt hours. All right, now you saw this graph jump right here, okay? Um, this is what they told me it would produce. This is what my first month actually produced, 1,200 kilowatt hours. That's 9% progress already in one month. I've got no doubt my system is not going to meet or exceed or get pretty dang close to what they quoted me. So I know my the solar company I bought from was being honest. That's what this really does is keep track of what they quoted you versus uh, uh, what it produced. Now, again, if you have a mini ice age or a panel go bad or something else happen, uh, maybe you don't meet your quota. But uh, hopefully, if your company was honest, these two are going to match up pretty darn close. That's what that's for. Now, um, if we notice here, our ROI calculator and our savings still has nothing. And that's because we got to fill out our bill average stuff. So when we fill out our bill average uh, items, it's going to populate this stuff into our calculation. So let's go to bill average. Okay. Now, this form is so dang easy to fill out. I made this as dummy proof as possible so that anybody can do this. All right. You're going to go to the month. Again, we're just doing June. So all we're doing is entering June's info. And in 2019, my total kilowatt hours that I, I imported from the grid with no solar, 1,397. My bill was 158.64, which gives me an 11 cent, 11.36 cent average per kilowatt hour. That is, that's what I was paying for that month. All right, now I'm going to enter 2020's data. And again, you can change these years. You can edit these cells. You could do whatever three years you want. You can do two years of info. Maybe you moved in and you're only in your house a year before you got solar. You can enter past info um, however you want it, and it'll auto average over here. So I'm going to enter three years worth of data, 1,825 kilowatt hours, 1,825. And then my bill for that month was 202.92. And I get another average. And then this is a yearly average. So as you fill more out, this average becomes uh, more and more accurate um, for the year. Uh, this uh, month, uh, or this year, 1668 and um, I paid 186.70 in my total bill. 
Again, 11, right at 11 cents per kilowatt hour, um, always over three years. Now, again, the areas in white auto populate. We already had our current solar bill auto populated from the first sheet with what I'm paying and that uh, they're actually charging me more money again for the privilege to own solar. Hopefully your utility is not that way. And then my past bill average, these are my three years. I averaged 600, 1,630 kilowatt hours and then my bill averaged 182.75 and my average um, cents per kilowatt hours 11.21 for these last three years. And then uh, that's just your, again, this is just an average calculator. Now we're going to go back over to our solar energy tracker because some of the numbers here did some other math in some other places and kicked it back over to this sheet. All right, now I can see my total savings, which are not based off numbers here. This is just your past bill averages. Well, my total savings per kilowatt hour is $55.48, and that's calculated in a, a much more advanced way, which is by the kilowatt hour usage that you used and what you used to be charged versus what you're charged now for what what your total was here, 1,762, which is what I would have used. So I'm paying almost 14 cents a kilowatt hour now versus I used to pay 11 cents a kilowatt hour average. And so that calculates your savings as before and after. So it's a very accurate way to look at your ROI, um, which is past data versus present data and what your new rate is. So $55.48 is what, what my system saved me. And that only one month's worth of data, just that one month tells me 17.95 years, which again, is it sounds crazy. But as I fill these numbers out, rates do get better with SRP. They're, they're still terrible, but they get better in the wintertime. And so this, I'm hoping to get down again into, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, something like that. I didn't do solar just for the ROI factor. That's a big factor, of course. But I bought bought my panels for some other reasons. I plan on doing some battery backup stuff. I plan on... on uh, uh, for an emergency situation being self-sufficient in some ways it's kind of hard with Arizona having to run air conditioning but I've got some future plans so this was phase one to get panels um, but it is nice to know my ROI projected ROI and, and such so all right that's it for the calculator that's why I designed it and it's really easy to use just fill out the cells in blue and I hope it helps some of you it, again it's completely free to use anybody can have this it's just a downloadable Excel file um, it is, it, it's mine, it, it's my Excel file. So companies, you're not allowed to use this. Contact me if you wanna use this. So if you need to use this or think this is something your business can use, you can contact me that way and we can talk about it. But this is more for individuals. I want this as an honest calculator for individuals to use. Um, and again, free of charge for any individual that wants to download it. So. Uh, I will be doing more videos as each or each bill comes in. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a short little video clip that kind of shows me where my numbers are, where I'm at in savings, and uh, what my ROI looks like. Like I said, I hope this number gets down. Maybe we can shave four or five years off, depending on uh, how things look with export and in winter time and stuff like that. So, anyways, that's it. That's how you fill it out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you um, or suggestions. Maybe you want to see something added to the calculator. Please, please message me. I'd love to keep playing with this thing. This is actually in one, uh, revision 1.3, the folder that I've got linked in the video description below. Um, every time I make an update to it, it's just going to be in there automatically. And uh, you're free to hop in there and download it. And uh, I will keep working on this. And maybe if I get some suggestions, I can add more, maybe make some tweaks to it, or maybe even improve on it. it works pretty dang good the way it is, but things can always be better. So, all right. Anyways, I'll quit yapping. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you later.